Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Edible Women by Margaret Atwood. Margaret Atwood was born on November 18, 1939 in Ottawa and she is a famous Canadian poet, novelist, literary critic, essayist, inventor, teacher and environmental activist. Her famous words include The Handmaid's Tale, Cat's Eye, Alias Grace, her short story collection Good Bones and Simple Murders and a volume of poetry Morning in the Burnt House. Edible Women, which was published in 1969, is a first published novel and it tells the story of a woman, Marian, who begins to identify herself with food and how she loses the ability to eat. The story is told in a narrative form and the narrative shifts from first person to third person and back again to first person and this shows Marianne's detachment from reality and later on her ability to regain control. The main characters of this novel are Marianne McAlpin who is the protagonist of the novel, Ainsley Twist who is Marianne's roommate, Peter Volander who is Marianne's boyfriend and fiancé, Duncan a college student, and Len and Clara who are Marianne's college friends. This story tells about Marianne McAlpin who is a single woman who is young and who works for a market research company. Unable to foresee a fulfilling career within the company, she is worried about her future and thinks about what she will become. And uh, she is also shown as a person who loves food and she keeps eating a lot. She dates Peter who is a lawyer and a dependable person but of course a bit boring for Marianne. And she shares a top floor apartment in Toronto in Canada with Ainsley. Marianne also keeps in touch with her college friends Clara and Lennon. And Clara has dropped her college while she was doing her second year to marry Joe. And Clara is now pregnant expecting her third child. One day Marianne along with Ainsley meets uh, Clara and while they are talking Ainsley declares that she has an intention to have a child without getting married. Hearing this Marianne is shocked but Ainsley says that it is the fathers who are the ones who ruin families these days. It is shown that Ainsley's father had deserted them and it was her mother who had brought them up. And Ainsley sets her eyes on Len who is Marianne's college friend and Len also is a person who has no interest in having a family. So she thinks that it is better to have a child through him so that there will not be any complications or any compulsion to get married and settle down in life. Marianne works for a survey and her company takes a survey for a new kind of beer. There, they invite a lot of graduate students to take the survey and one among them is Duncan and this Duncan somehow attracts Marianne with his uh, answers up. and uh, Marianne continues her relationship with uh, Peter and one day Marianne goes out for dinner with Peter and Len and while they are having dinner Ainsley suddenly comes there dressed like a school girl and she is so very attractive that all the people who are in the dinner hall turn and keep looking at her and like others Len also gets attracted towards Ainsley and that is the actual intention of Ainsley and as the conversation goes Len starts uh, telling about uh, how he once went for a rabbit hunt and as he describes about that hunting Marianne starts to dissociate from her body and she is unable to finish her food and suddenly she runs from the restaurant seeing her running away Peter chases after her and since Peter is not aware about Ansley's plan, he asks Marianne why she could not dress up and why she could not behave like Ansley, for which Marianne has no answer. And here, Ansley gets enough time to be with Lena. At the end of the dinner, Peter proposes to Marianne and Marianne immediately accepts his proposal because she thinks that Peter is an ideal choice since he is a lawyer and is bound to be successful. And similarly, Peter also feels that uh, getting married will aid his career. And since most of his friends are married, he feels that it is the right time for him also to settle down. Uh, and uh, he asks uh, Marianne to pick up a date for the wedding. But the moment Peter asks her to pick up the date for the wedding, she becomes discomforted and she is not able to answer him. 
here ainsley becomes very close with len and they start uh, meeting each other and they get into a relationship and uh, as expected ainsley becomes pregnant and the moment she becomes pregnant she informs the information to len and starts avoiding him because now she has got what she wanted that is now she has a baby whom she wanted without any marriage uh, commitment uh, Len comes and meets Marianne he tells to her about uh, Ansley's pregnancy and during the conversation he says that from his childhood he was afraid of eggs and as Marianne is listening to Len she gets disturbed and from then on she stops eating even eggs slowly slowly she loses the ability to eat vegetables and cake and Ansley here in order to take care of a child she attends a workshop to learn on how to take care of a child and they they tell uh, in the class that a father plays an important role in a child's life uh, hearing this ainsley mind changes and she goes back to len and she apologizes to him and asks him to accept her and here marian in spite of her engagement continues to see duncan because she gets attracted towards him uh, even after the day peter proposes she actually meets duncan in a laundromat unexpectedly and as they are talking they share an unexpected intimate kiss which disturbs her mind slowly slowly marian stops eating meat uh, when she sees peter cutting steak that night and somehow she starts feeling that peter is metamorphically consuming her soon she comes to a state where she is unable to eat many of the things which she used to enjoy earlier and she starts to fear that she may not be normal so she meets clara her friend and tells about her problem but clara says that this eating problem is simply a symptom of bridal nerves and uh, she will definitely get over it soon and this happens to all the brides and as the wedding day approaches peter and marian decide to throw a party peter asks marian to get her hair done and to also buy a new dress and marian goes and buys a red dress and while buying itself she knows that this dress is not her type and definitely she will not be herself when she wears that dress in the same manner Uh, she asks Ainsley to dress up her because that is what Peter wanted and Ainsley applies red lipstick and false eyelashes. Uh, Marian goes to the party and Duncan is also invited to the party but when Duncan sees Marian he is upset and he says that she does not look like herself and storms out and Marian follows him and they go to a, a motel and two of them spend the night and have an unsatisfying sex uh, and then they have breakfast the next morning. now she finds that she is unable to eat anything at all and she knows that this is the time where she has to face the reality and she must deal with peter and the approaching wedding duncan un- understands her feelings and he says that marian's problem are all in her mind and he says that she has invented her own personal cuddy sack and she only has to come out of it because she is the one who developed it Marian realizes that Peter is metaphorically consuming her and she feels that after marriage she will just cease to exist and she will not be herself. So to test Peter she bakes a women shaped cake and offers to him. And while she's offering she taunts him by saying that this is what he really wants that is he wants to eat her up fully. And uh, hearing this Peter gets disturbed and he leaves the place angrily without eating the cake and the wedding is called out. Marian now sits there and starts eating the cake. And in the end we find that Marian is now eating regularly and Duncan tells her that she is back to so called reality that is a consumer once again. And in the end Marian offers the cake to Duncan and Duncan eats the rest of the cake. And we find that When Marian feels that she is losing her identity, her physical body reacts by refusing to eat. And the narration in this movie, uh, novel also starts moving from the first person to the third person and again to the first person, which shows Marian losing her grip on reality. And later on, she is unable to return until she consumes the cake she made, which is the representation of herself. and this shows a desire to be in control of her own identity which is exemplified by the cake which peter rejects but duncan on the other hand enjoys it and what it represents and we understand that marian has regained her sense of identity again 
and here the novel ends if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you